Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have yet another Velocicoaster update. This one is from WDW underscore 413 on Twitter. He is a Universal team member. Universal, again, Universal Orlando reopened this week starting from yesterday. And, uh, sorry, from June 1st. And June 1st and yesterday, June 2nd, team members were allowed in the park. He is a team member. He, they are a team member. And they decided to get some really good shots of the Velocicoaster and post them on Twitter. Today and tomorrow, June, uh, Universal Orlando is open to annual or uh, annual pass holders. And then on Friday, open to the general public. All three parks, no reservation required, which is fantastic. So, let's get a look at these beautiful photos here. We have about nine of them for you. There's a lot more on his Twitter page, so definitely go check them out at WD WDW underscore 413. Here's the first shot just overlooking the, uh, this is probably, uh, the, I think, Seuss Landing area. And it's looking at the Jurassic Park Discovery Center and kind of a wide shot and what the coaster will look like. There's lots of supports. <laughs> the one to the, um, the tallest one to the left is the top hat element. We'll have some closer looks at that later on in the video. And if you see how, see how close it can be to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, there's the Forbidden Journey just over there to the right. As we get a little bit closer, you see there's, um, some supports. This is the, be the 540 degree turn. It's like a double turn. It's, it's pretty cool, like a massive helix, and that's um, a lot of supports. And some of the new track that I'm going to show you is actually in today, which is looks really cool. And I'm, this next picture is <laughs> super amazing. I was like, I have to make this my thumbnail because it's so amazing. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's super cool. There's two rows of track there. As you see, the first one looks like it's coming off an inversion as the track starts to go upside down. Be coming off that inversion, then coming around, um, almost touching the water um, here at this lake. And this is taken from the three broomsticks, and that's part of the reason why the tracks are so low. Because to uh, not disrupt the atmosphere of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and the three broomsticks, not to ruin those sight lines there. So the tracks are super low, but it really gives a good like vantage point. Um, from the three broomsticks, and when you're on the coaster, it looks a look as a look as if like, like you're skimming in the water almost. It'll be like really really cool. It's a great photo opportunity. Um, I know there's Def Ride will definitely have an on ride camera somewhere, and <laughs> there's a lot of places to put it. And this was a good one as well. Here we go to a more a, basically the same kind of photo, but it's a cell phone photo from a different low, slightly different location of the three broomsticks, and Again, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and then you come over there, and then you go, look, you're basically, go, it's a helix. So you go again, and you come on that second, the inner track, which is a little bit lower. And it looks like you, at the end of this track, you may uh, go into an inversion, another inversion. I'm not entirely sure, but see it. I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Does it look like at the end of the second track that... It looks like it's kind of starting to turn upside down, so it looks like you may go into some kind of twist or barrel roll or something <laughs> over the lake. Um, uh, people, I know people can base it on the plans that have been announced that um, then all the inversions where they're at. So comment below if you, you do go to an inversion after this, uh, that turn right there. And another, here's a farther, uh, a wider look kind of from farther back into the Wizarding World, how it will look as you head towards Forbidden Journey. As look at that look at those pieces of track. Wow. That's too bad it's not a dueling coaster because right there it'll be like a great racing type element. Over there that'll be really cool. And here it is from looks like I don't say Toon Lagoon. But I'm trying to think of what color those rocks or maybe Seuss Landing but uh, let me know if that's let me know this vantage point but it's on the other complete other side of the um, complete other side of the the uh, park or land so I think I think it's Toon Lagoon but you know but here's the start of that top hat element you see the supports as we be launching up to the apex of this ride which I'm not sure how tall it is 
you do know, let me know how in the comments below how tall it is. But, and there's of course the tallest support in the coaster so far, and uh, that's where that top hat element is, uh, or will be. And I can see from this picture, it's for sure Toon Lagoon now, uh, based on the architecture and and the colors that, that this side is from Toon Lagoon, um, whereas the other side was from the Three Broomsticks. And as we head on over, here's some track installed um, in another part of the land. I'm, this, I'm trying to figure out where this is. is. <laughs> it's definitely in the middle, like in the middle of the Jurassic Park area. But is this the launch track to go into the top hat? Or, hmm, it might be. I'm not entirely sure. Is it, maybe it's the return track when you're returning to this area from your journey on the lake. I'm not sure. Again, if you know any, if anyone knows, comment your thoughts below um, on what you think this is. Or what section of the ride you think this is. And where in the Jurassic Park area do you think this is as well? But week to week, especially as people get into the parking, park and it's open and the general public gets in, we'll have lots more construction updates due to these awesome people who um, take lots of pictures and put it on social media. Um, with the park open, it'll be so much easier to see what's going on on the ground floor. Those aerial images were fantastic as well from BioReconstruct. And we'll have lots of those and different people in the park as well, so stay tuned. For more Jurassic or Velocicoaster updates and subscribe below for more theme park updates. Give this video a big like and comment what you think of comment below what you think of coaster. And as always, have a fantastic day.